Let's talk about how to use tags to organize our notes. This is useful because it gives you categories and lists of your notes. So if I go over to my all notes page and click on books, I have a list of my books because each one of these that I've imported has the book tag here. And if I click on that, I get a list. You also saw here a Readwise tag. So if I click on the Readwise tag, I can see everything that I've imported from Readwise. Similar with the tweet, I can go in here. This one also has a tweet tag. I can click on it and see all of the tweets that I've saved. So having tags is a very useful way to categorize our notes. Generally, we want to link all entities, but we want to give tags to anything that is a part of a category. So let me show you what this looks like if I'm doing a log of my day. I might say that I met Alex McCaw for lunch. I'll say I met him, the black belly butcher. Now, if I go into each one of these notes, I can see that Alex has the person tag here and my butcher shop has the restaurant tag. And any tags that I add will appear in these lists. So if you need a simplified way to think about tags, you can think about them that way. You can put a tag to any note that you would want to appear in a given list. So let's look at a couple more examples of that. You'll notice in Alex's note, I not only gave him the person tag under type, but in his title, I gave him CEO and then I added the tag founder. And that means that anyone who's a founder, I can just add this to their person page. And if I ever want to pull up a list of founders in my contacts, I can just click on that tag and I will get a list. Now, similarly, I can do that again with restaurants. Uh, we can do this with all sorts of collections. So some of mine that I've gotten this demo brain here, maybe I have one for DIY projects. And this will pull up any notes that I've taken on things that I want to build as a DIY project. Um, so this could be something like how to turn my sprinklers on in the spring as a new homeowner. Or I could give this a home maintenance tag. And then I have a list of everything related to my home maintenance knowledge. Uh, one of my favorite ones here is recipe. So if I give a recipe tag to different things, I'm effectively just building a digital cookbook. And in here I have everything with the recipe tag. So you can create whatever tags you want and give them to whatever notes you want. But typically you're only going to want to give it to a note that appears or give it to a note that you want to appear as a part of the list. So let me give an example of something that I wouldn't really want to tag here. Let's say that I actually, let me go back. What was one of the recipes I had? Let's pretend I'm making something. Pretend I'm smoking a pork shoulder. So if I say I smoked, or let's say I made a pork shoulder smoked, I would not want to give a tag here that says recipe. Because if I do do that, then when I click on recipe, I don't get the actual recipe. I get the daily notes showing it. and you can see it kind of messes up my notes list. So instead, I just want to leave that tag in the actual note with the recipe. And again, you can do pretty much any tag you want here. Uh, again, you could do tweets, recipes, uh, anything related to your work. I enjoy writing, so I might have one that is article drafts, or maybe I just read a lot of articles. So I have this one here that just denotes an article that I have saved from the internet here. So tags are a very, very useful way to organize your notes. Again, you're going to want to backlink all entities, things like people, places, things, projects, and you're going to want to give tags to categories. But sometimes it's possible that you'll want to do both. And when in doubt, you should always backlink a note versus adding a tag to it. And you're probably going to use a lot more backlinks than you will tags. And backlinks come into play with the mind here. So I can see everything that is linked together. And that's not how tags operate here. So regardless of what tags I add to things here, it won't change how the notes are actually backlinked together. So when it comes to forming associations, you still want to use backlinks. And you can backlink as much as you want. Tags you want to treat much more like categories. Again, I think the best way to think of them is this list here. What categories would you feasibly want to pull up a list of your notes of? If you treat it like that, you'll come up with some useful ones. And over time, you get these nice categories here that make it really easy to kind of index your notes almost as if each one is a directory of its own.